So if you don't know me, my name is Vanessa or Nessa Irene 0206 here on YouTube and I am from Tempe, Arizona. I tend to start off all of my tutorials the way you see me right now with no makeup. Usually my hair is wet because I just got off the shower and I just, I really like doing that. I think it's completely honest and it just shows my subscribers, hey, I'm a real person too and if I can do these things, you know, starting with what I am, then so can you. So I think that is definitely what sets me apart from most other YouTubers out there. What I really like about the YouTube community and the small pool of subscribers that I have is that I feel like I can be comfortable and I can be 100% myself around them, even if it means you know talking on camera with no makeup like I am right now. Anyway, so the look I'm going to be doing today is going to be a response to the Celebrity Music Video Challenge, and I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by Kimbra, who's easily my favorite artist of all time, and it is going to be a look inspired by one of three looks that she wore in her Good Intent music video. And the three looks, um, I believe it was supposed to be kind of like a multiple personality or like an angel devil on the shoulder kind of thing. There were three of them. So there's one look that's really dark and vampy and one that's really spicy and hot and red. And then there's also one that's innocent in which she's wearing all white. So as you can tell from my shirt, I'm gonna go with the more innocent look just because I feel like it suits my personality a little bit more. And it's definitely something I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you guys do enjoy this and also 17 I do hope that you pick me to compete in the Beauty Smarties showdown. So I want my makeup to stay put all day so I'm applying a face primer to the center of my face. And then using a dense flat top kabuki brush and my favorite spray foundation I'm just going to buff this into my face for a really good flawless finish. And because this brush is so dense, it really does smooth in my foundation and buffs it into the skin really well. Since I want my eyeshadows to really, really pop and also to stay all day, I'm applying a generous amount of eyeshadow base. And I'm applying this to both my lid and below my lower lash line. I'm also blending in and getting rid of any excess with my ring finger. Next, I'm gonna conceal any blemishes or redness I have with a stick concealer. I have a few on my chin and I also get some redness around my nose since I have allergies. And again, I'm gonna just blend that in and get rid of any excess with my finger. And since I know I'm going to be applying lip product later, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm now, the way my lips are primed and ready. And then moving on to eyes, I'm gonna start by highlighting my brow bone and I'm using a matte cream highlighter shade. And then I'm gonna move in and use a warmer shade on my super orbital bone or the socket bone. We want this to be pretty flesh toned and natural. And then next I'm gonna take this really pretty champagne shade and using a flat shader brush, I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelid. Then I'm going to take a dark burgundy shade and using a fluffy brush, I'm going to little by little work this into my crease. And I like to work little by little just because I feel like it's a lot easier to add more color than to take color away. Then of course, taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to gently blend that as I go along. We want this to be very, very soft because these colors are going to be very striking. We still want it to look very wearable. And then next, taking a pencil brush, I'm gonna run that pigment down my lower lash line as well. And I'm going to take it about halfway in. And then I'm also going to work that color back up into my crease again. And then taking this gorgeous cranberry shade and another fluffy brush, I'm going to work this into my crease as well. And we're kind of using the same concept as we used for the dark burgundy shade, working little by little in small careful strokes and building up the color very carefully. And of course, you also want to take that below the lower lash line as well, very softly. If you're a subscriber of mine, you probably already know this, but I really love pairing cranberry and burgundy because I think it creates this beautiful, warm, smoky kind of effect that I love to wear. And then once again, go back in with a clean, fluffy brush and blend all the harsh edges. I'm using a very light hand when I do this, that way I don't make the colors appear muddy. Now that everything's all blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and darken it a little bit more with that burgundy color. Just build it up a little bit more. 
Also, if you're having a hard time blending out the edges, feel free to use that creamy highlighter powder that you used earlier to blend out the harsh edges. So this is where we're at so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with liner and using a creamy pencil liner, I'm going to line the outer two thirds of my eyes on my both bottom and top lash lines. And I'm just using a pencil and smudging it with my finger. And this is just going to be a base for a dark eyeshadow that I'm going to use as liner. So now that I've got that shadow lined on there, I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend it out to make it very smoky. And obviously you'll want to blend out the bottom lash line as well. Then taking a clean pencil brush, I'm going to apply some shimmery highlight to my inner corners and gently blend that out with my fingertips. So you can see here how that really helps bring the eye look together. Next, moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to be applying some clear mascara just to kind of help keep them in place. And I'm also going to shade in with some eyeshadow to add a little bit of shape to them. Next, I'm going in with a matte bronzer and I'm going to just bronze up the sides of my face a little bit to add some dimension. And then I'm going to set my foundation on the center of my face with some powder. This will really help my foundation stay put all day even more. And then next, I'm going to take a warm, peachy, shimmery blush, and using an angled contour face brush, I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones. And I'm also going to work this up into my temples because Kimbra has blush run through her temples as well in the music video. And then next, I'm gonna take a shimmery highlight and apply this to the tops of my cheekbones. And since this is really stark, I'm gonna run over it with that dense kabuki brush to blend it into my foundation. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna highlight my cupid's bow by adding a little bit of shimmer there. And then next, going back to the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and prepare them for mascara. You can add false lashes to this look if you try it out. However, I prefer just to pile on my mascara instead. And then to finish off the look, go ahead and add a peachy pink lipstick to the lips. And that's the finished look. So clearly this isn't half as glamorous as Kimber is in her music video, but this is definitely a look that was inspired by her kind of innocent character in the music video. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And Seventeen and Hello Style channel, I hope you do choose me to compete in the Beauty Smarty Showdown. So um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you guys later. Bye.